A lot of people associate Metasploit with just being installed on Kali Linux, but in fact, it's very easy to install on other versions of Linux as well. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to install Metasploit on an Ubuntu machine. Let's take a look at how that's done. All right, so now we are on our base Ubuntu machine and we're ready to install Metasploit. So the first thing we need to do is install a lot of dependencies because, well, Metasploit has quite a few of them. So here's a command that we're gonna be running to install all the dependencies. It's sudo apt install Ruby, Ruby dev, build essential, zlib1g, zlib1g dev, libpq dev, libpcap dev, and libsqlite3 dev. Now I'll leave that command down below in the description so you don't have to type all that out, but just go ahead and hit enter there to install all of the dependencies. Now, after you install all of the dependencies, I've already done so just to save us a little bit of time. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and clone the Metasploit GitHub repository. I'll also leave a link to this down below in the description. So just go ahead and copy this link and go back to our terminal. We'll go ahead and do git clone and then that URL. That will download that right into our home directory right now. Uh, it will take a little bit because it's quite a large repository. There's a lot of things in there. After you finish cloning the Metasploit GitHub repository, the next thing we need to do is install Ruby's bundler package manager. We can do this by doing sudo gem install bundler, and that will go ahead and install that for us. Great, so now that that is installed, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and install the Ruby packages for Metasploit. So now we can see the Metasploit framework directory since we just cloned the repository. We're going to cd into that directory. So we'll do cd Metasploit framework. Now, once we're inside of this directory, we need to go ahead and finish installing the rest of the packages for Metasploit through Ruby. And we can do this by doing sudo bundle install. That's going to read the bundle file that is in there and install all the dependencies that are Ruby dependencies. So installing those Ruby packages can take a little bit, but once you are finished, we should be all set. So I'm just gonna clear the screen here. And if we do an LS, we'll see some of the Metasploit binaries that you may be familiar with. So I'm just going to start up MSF console and we'll get Metasploit, the main console started up there just to show that we have it all installed properly. And from here, everything should work. As long as this boots up successfully, we shouldn't have any other dependency issues. And you can see, there we go. We now have Metasploit installed on Ubuntu Linux. If you found this video useful, please remember to like and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.